Let me get my shoes. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head, buddy. So we gotta go to the class. Now that video showing the moment Trump hit the ground after multiple shots were fired. Of course, you saw and heard the chaos that followed as well. Secret Service agents quickly escorted the former president off the stage. And that is our top story tonight. I'm Karen Scullin. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. The Secret Service confirming that one spectator was killed this afternoon. Two spectators were critically wounded. The suspected gunman is dead. And officials in Pennsylvania saying the Secret Service shot that gunman. Our coverage of today's incident continues with Fox 9's Paul Bloom. He's joining us from the newsroom with the very latest on this investigation. And all of this is being updated really every few minutes, Paul. Kelsey and Karen, good evening to both of you. It was a shocking scene that played out in Butler, Pennsylvania at approximately 5.15 at Central Time this evening. So not even four hours ago now, a Trump campaign rally north of Pittsburgh on the eve of the Republican National Convention next week in Milwaukee, an assassination attempt on the former president. The video capturing the frantic moments. Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee for the White House on stage in the midst of a heated election battle. He has posted tonight to social media that he was, quote, shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of his right ear with the bullet, quote, ripping through the skin. No further confirmation on those injuries from the former president just yet. His campaign has said he is, quote, fine after being whisked off stage by Secret Service and getting checked out at a local medical facility. The Secret Service has put out a statement reported that the suspected shooter fired multiple shots towards the stage from a, quote, elevated position outside the rally's venue. Agents then killed the gunman. One spectator, as you mentioned off the top, also killed in the chaos of the rally. Two others in the audience to see the former president critically injured. President Biden spoke to the nation soon after. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. We heard a... And in just the last few minutes, the Trump campaign says Trump will be in Milwaukee next week at the convention to receive the Republican Party's nomination. The Secretary of Homeland Security out tonight with a statement that the agency, the Homeland Security, is taking, quote, every possible measure to ensure security for the campaign ahead after the shooting tonight. Federal authorities confirming it is being investigated as an assassination attempt on Donald Trump with the Secret Service taking the lead. This, of course, a developing story. We do not know anything about the gunmen or their motivation at this point. We, of course, will continue to track the latest out of Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., and really across the entire country tonight as what happened reverberates from coast to coast. For now, live in the news in Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Paul, and especially as everything moves to Milwaukee for the RNC. Now, former President Trump has released a statement tonight as well saying, quote, again, nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through my skin. He also thanked the Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response, and he extended his condolences to the family of the spectator at the rally who was killed today. And support for the former president continues across the country and here locally. In a statement this evening, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz said violence has no place in American politics, praying for the safety of the former president and everyone at his rally in Pennsylvania. And Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer also 